This is the lesson for Mod 9, Lesson 6B, Special Right Triangles, uh, 45, 45, 90 Triangles. The goal of this is going to, again, be solving for sides of right triangles. Um, so in the previous video, we saw right, uh, solving with Pythagorean theorem. So when you have two sides of a right triangle, we can use that property to solve um, for the third side. With 45, 45, 90 triangles, um, we can use this when, if it's something we can't do with Pythagorean theorem, but we know the angles are 45, 45, 90, um, they're going to follow a certain relationship. So our goal is going to be using 45, 45, 90 triangles to find side lengths. Um, so a 45, 45, 90 triangle um, is named after the angles of, of a certain right triangle. So we have a right angle. And then the two angles, um, acute angles, are both 45 degrees. Um, this actually makes a right isosceles triangle. Um, so the two legs are going to be the same length, and the two um, acute angles are both 45 degrees. So what we find that if we had done Pythagorean theorem to solve, um, we would actually get the same relationship or ratios for the sides. Um, so the two legs are going to be the same length for this specific triangle. And then the hypotenuse, which again is our longest side, um, is going to be the side length times radical 2. Um, so if k was our scale factor, um, I can find all the sides of a 45, 45, 90 triangle um, just by knowing one of the sides. So our steps we're going to use for solving today is we're first going to label, um, once we identify it's a 45, 45, 90, we're going to label the sides of the triangle with the corresponding ratio. Um, so again, the two legs are going to be, um, we're, for this, we're going to label with K, but you can use any letter you like. And the hypotenuse is going to be labeled with K radical 2. Um, we're then going to set whatever ratio corresponds to the value they gave us. We're going to set those equal and solve for our k value or our scale factor. And then we substitute that in to find the remaining sides. So um, for these examples where we, we identified that these are 45, 45, 90 triangles, so really what we're doing is we're using similar triangles to solve. So for a 45, 45, 90, and again, 45 are the degree, I know that the legs are going to be the same. So if I call the first leg is some value k, I know the second leg is also going to be k. And then the hypotenuse is going to be k radical 2. And again, you can use any variable you like. I'm just using k for scale factor. Um, so our first step is we're going to go ahead and, and um, label our ratios out. So if I look at the two legs, um, that form that they form the right angle. I'm going to call both these K and the hypotenuse, which is across, I'm going to call K radical two, right? So our first step is we're just labeling our ratios. Um, now we're identifying the side length they gave us, right? Um, so again, I could do Pythagorean theorem knowing these are both 14, but um, this ends up, when you get the hang of it, ends up being a little faster for the 45, 45, 90. So I can see 14 is um, the same value as K. So if I set them equal to each other, I have K equals 14. Um, there's nothing really to solve there. Um, K is already by itself. So my scale factor essentially ends up being 14. So now wherever I see uh, the, the variable K, I'm substituting in 14. So I get 14 radical 2 um, for my hypotenuse. Um, I'm putting in 14 in for K. And this ends up being um, the remaining two sides that we're trying to find. So our goal was to find x and y. I can see that um, x is equal to 14 and y is equal to 14 radical 2. And that would be my final answer. The second um, problem is done essentially the same way. So we're still using this um, similarity um, with the special right triangle. So I'm going to go ahead and label this out. So my two legs that form the right angle for 45, 45, 90 are the same. So I'm going to call both these K. And my hypotenuse is K radical 2. I'm then going to identify the value they gave us. 
and set it equal to the ratio. So I have here k radical 2 the same color uh, k radical 2 is equal to 5 radical 2 and then um, you're gonna see for this one unlike the previous example k is not by itself I'm gonna have to solve for k so k and radical 2 are being multiplied so I'm gonna divide by radical 2 if I multiply by something I could just divide it off um, the radical 2's go away so I'm left with k and then it just so happens radical 2 divided by radical 2 also goes away, so I'm left with 5. So my value or my scale factor is 5. So now wherever I see a k, I'm going to put a 5. Um, I don't have to put it back into this one because I already knew this was 5 radical 2. So I don't have to do that. Um, I know that uh, we have a 5 and a 5 here. So those would be my solutions. So I have that x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 5. In this next example, um, we're still solving for the sides of a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Um, so they give us one of the angles is 45 degrees, the other angle is 90 degrees. Um, so um, obviously if we subtract from 180, we know the, the remaining angle is 45. And so we can solve this using properties of a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sketch our, our similar triangle we're going to use. So I have 45, 45. Uh, I'm going to call them the two legs K. And the hypotenuse is going to have that K radical 2. So our first step is we're going to approach it just like the other problems. Um, the only thing that's a little different is you might have to use some properties with solving with radicals, um, which isn't anything too different than what we've done in um, different uh, mods. So the first thing is when we label this out, um, we see we have our right angle. And we know the two sides that form that right angle um, are going to be our legs. So I know I have a K, I have a K, and then the um, side that's opposite the right angle is going to have that K radical too. So our first step um, is labeling it out. We're then going to see um, the val length they gave us was uh, 3 root 2, which pairs up with our ratio of K. So if I set those equal, I have that K is equal to 3 radical 2. Um, we don't have to do any additional solving here um, because our scale factor is already solved for. Um, we know it's k radical 2. So now wherever we see um, the variable k, we're going to substitute in 3 radical 2. Um, so the other leg's pretty easy. You know that's just going to be 3 radical 2. Um, where it gets a little tricky is when we put it in uh, and have to multiply now that 3 radical 2 by radical 2. So again, I just substituted that in. Um, so our answer is not just 3 radical 2. Uh, we have to go ahead and simplify. So radical 2 times radical 2. Um, some of you might remember when we um, learned radicals that that just becomes a 2. If you need to see it again, you know, that's 2 times 2, which is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. And so the hypotenuse is actually um, 6. So um, we actually get then um, our answers here are going to be uh, x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 3 radical 2. Um, I don't have to solve for that third side. They already gave it to us. Um, and that would be your answer. In this next example, we're going to do the same thing um, that we did before. Uh, this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. We're going to go ahead and label our ratios out. So I have k, k, and k radical 2. And we're going to go ahead now and label this. Um, so we have a k, a k, and a k radical 2. Um, we're then going to identify the value they gave us. So we have an 8. And we're just going to set those uh, equal to each other. So k radical 2 is equal to 8. 
Um, unlike the other problems where um, k is by itself, this one we're going to have to solve for it because it's getting multiplied by radical 2. Um, so if we divide both sides by radical 2, we get k equals 8 over radical 2. And um, what, if we might remember that we can't leave our answer like that, we have a radical 2 on the bottom. So we're going to actually have to rationalize this out. So remember, anytime you have a radical on the bottom, we have to get rid of it. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by radical 2. On the top, I have 8 radical 2. On the bottom, radical 2 times radical 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So 8 radical 2 over um, square root of 4 is 2. And then um, the stuff, uh, the values outside, the 8 and the 2, you can go ahead and simplify. So this becomes 4 radical 2. So we end up getting our k value is 4 radical 2. So now wherever we see a k, we can substitute in 4 radical 2. So actually, it just works out that both of the um, legs are going to be uh, 4 radical 2. So that means x is 4 radical 2 and y is 4 radical 2 because those are both the legs. In our last example, um, again, same thing. Um, the only thing that's different is we're just doing some different properties of radicals. So if I look at my 45, 45, 90, I know the legs are k, k radical 2. And again, we just go ahead and label it out. So our two legs are going to be k. Our hypotenuse k radical 2, we set the value equal to the ratio, so same thing as before. Um, like the last problem, I have to divide by radical 2 because k is not by itself. And then similar to the last problem, I have to rationalize, um, and so when we rationalize this out, um, I have to multiply the top and bottom by root 2. So for the top, root 3 times root 2 is root 6. So you multiply them. On the bottom, I get root 4, which is 2. And then when I simplify, I get um, 2 radical 6. So wherever I see a k, I know that's 2 radical 6. And so from here, um, you would get then the answer for n and for m. So n is 2 radical 6, m is 2 radical 6. If you have questions, make sure you are trying the you try problems um, and then asking um, for help during class, signing up for T-Bolt time or getting help in the center.